What's up guys, this is Dr. Gabrielle Lyon and I'm here with Chronometer talking to you about blood sugar regulation. Now, blood sugar regulation, which really refers to glucose, is a very hot topic and it makes sense that it is. One of the reasons is that glucose is necessary for brain function and many components in the body, many processes in the body, but it is also at high levels toxic. So blood sugar regulation is very important. Now, not only is it important for functioning, it is important to maintain steady levels of blood sugar because when blood sugar drops, you get counter regulatory responses. And what does that mean? That means when your blood sugar drops, then you have a release of cortisol, you have a release of insulin, you have a release of multiple stress hormones that may not be the best way to manage blood sugar. And subsequently, it can also make you very hungry. And if you are interested in navigating weight loss, then being able to minimize hunger is very important. Practical things that we can do for managing blood sugar. Number one, prioritizing protein. Protein is very satiating and it does not cause an ebb and flow in blood sugar. Second thing that can be done is also having mixed meals, right? Mixed meals with, with uh, protein, carbs, and fats, as opposed to carbohydrates alone or sugary snacks and foods alone. Another strategy will be to keep carbohydrates if you are sedentary, or let's say you're not training or right after a workout, keeping carbohydrate intake between 40 and 50 grams of carbohydrates at that meal. Uh, because when you go higher, there tends to be an increased insulin response. And then of course, a secondary drop in blood sugar. Practical things that you can do, prioritize for protein, making sure that you're having mixed meals, which include fruits and vegetables with proteins and some fats. And of course, number three, monitoring your carbohydrate intake per meal. Dr. Gabrielle Lyon out. And of course, as always, I hope this helps.